and welcome Priyanka. Thank you so much. A lot of filmmakers say that you're the most gutsy actress, the kind of roles you do. You don't really do movies with that kind of star power. I, I've always believed in, um, you know, making my own path in a way. I do mm -hmm. films because my heart says that I would do a film. Mm -hmm. I don't like being told that I should do this kind of mm -hmm. film. I don't like, I have an authority problem. <laughs> so, um, if my instinct tells me I want to do a film, then I do it and it doesn't matter. I mean, I do all kinds of films. I yeah. do these commercial big blockbusters. At right. the same time, I'll do a film with, which is like... Yeah. Yeah, it, I just have to believe in a film. Yeah. Any role that you refuse and later said, oh, I wish I had... Thank the Lord that has never happened to me. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Inevitably, you know, every time, and it's bizarre. Mm -hmm. Every time I've said no to a film, it's not done well after it's been made. Or it's not been made on me. Wow. It's really weird. We won't ask you which film you're talking no, about. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Saath Khun Maaf 2 uh, didn't do that kind of great business at the box office, but you know you walked away with all the acclaim. Yes, it, um, I got a lot of critical acclaim for the film, but I knew Saath Khun Maaf was a different movie. We, mm -hmm. When Vishal and I both, like we both discussed it. Mm -hmm. We always knew about that. Mm -hmm. I was hoping it would of course get success mm -hmm. um, box office wise as well, but every film has its own fate. I'm still very proud of the movie. Um, I think Vishal Bhardwaj is a brilliant filmmaker and uh, if I had to do the film all over again, I would totally do it. Yeah. So could we say that you're probably the only actress who can really carry a movie on her shoulders? I don't know. I mean, you can say that <laughs> if you want to. You can say it. <laughs> How's the equation been with Ranbir? People often talk about, you know, Tiff on the sets and all of that. Is there anything in that really? <laughs> I have no idea where you'll mm. get your stories from, man. <laughs> Seriously. No, there is mm. no tiff between us. Um, he's an amazing co-star and he's a friend mm -hmm. and he's great to work with and we have no issues. You know, I, I was thinking why people are saying that with mm. Barfi, but I feel that maybe, you know, Barfi's a very difficult film for me mm. and for him. Um, I'm autistic in the movie. Mm -hmm. I'm severely autistic in the film, so I'm mentally challenged. So I stay within my space a lot more. For you the know, character. You, yeah, get... you can't suddenly become, yay, come on, music's on the hair, and then go back into becoming, you know, your character. Mm. You can't do that. So maybe because, and even him, he's playing a deaf and mute character in the mm. movie. So, you know, we're playing very difficult roles. Yeah. So it's not like Anjana Anjani, you know, where we were having fun and... Kind of um, so maybe that's why people are feeling, but I think mm. it, it has to do with the film. Mm. But you all talk about music, you know, the rock part and the... Yeah, the in fact, rock he's heard some of my music. Yeah. Have you seen, a, seen any rushes of Rockstar? No. Yeah. I've okay. just seen the trailer, the thing that everyone's... Thank you so much, that was lovely. Thank you.